Outrocast. Dan, Joel, Comfort, a pleasure to be speaking with you all. And in unison, how is everyone doing today? Answering the same questions over and over again for media people. Great, so Darren. Thanks for asking. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll throw the first one at Dan because he's had to spend more hours looking at this film than anybody. So, Dan, how much of the original script is what we see on screen? Yeah, I think all of Caroline's original script is there on screen. And then there's a lot of fun extra stuff as well that the, that the um, amazing actors gave us. And speaking of amazing actors, here we have Joel and Comfort. Joel, been watching your work for decades now. How did you wind up in this wonderful film? Uh, my friend, uh, Marcia DeBonis, uh, who worked on Heels, uh, a, a star's drama I was in, um, said, I'm gonna send you this script. They're having trouble with this one part. And uh, I read it and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was different than your basic Hallmark movie. And I made my wife double read it because she's a, more of a avid reader than I am and make sure that I, I was correct. And uh, she said, yeah, it's pretty great. And, and gave me permission to stay on the road for a couple more weeks, to, more than that, uh, to go do this film at about this time last year in uh, in the Boston area. Now, you just mentioned Heels. Before I throw it at Comfort, Heels, one of my favorite shows of the past few years. That season two ending was intense. And Wild Bill, how many better characters have there ever been on television than Wild Bill? Oh, and just the nicest guy, Chris Bauer. He's so good. He's so talented. And then the Stars Network scraped it from their pro platform uh, like 10 days, nine days after uh, the season aired. Yeah, but makes perfect sense. Programming people are the smartest people ever. We yeah. keep learning that, right? Hopefully it'll find a home somewhere else for season three. Fingers crossed. Now, Comfort, I've left you out for far too long. You have <laughs> totally a okay. personal highlight in making Mary good enough. Oh my God, personal highlight. I, every single day, I don't even know how to answer that. I mean... I think the charade scene is so much fun. I'm sure um, you can tell we're all really enjoying ourselves in that moment. But just getting to work and see this vision realized, you know, this script is something I read. Caroline sent it to me like six years ago, I mm -hmm. believe, with Dan. And we both had been telling her for years, this should get made. It's so different. It's so cool. It's unique. It's a different take on Christmas. And we finally were able to do that a year ago, so much because of Dan's amazing efforts. Um, and so just like the fact of being on that set every day was kind of a highlight in its own way. It was a truly surreal experience, actually. So you knew Dan and Caroline before this production? I didn't really know Dan. We both knew Caroline and we both had been whispering in her year for years, I think, saying, this is so good. Your script is so good. Let's get this made. And then Dan actually kind of you know, put his money where his mouth was and got it, got it, the ball rolling about a year ago, uh, maybe, maybe like 18 months ago. And wow. now here we are talking about the finished product and it's wild. Dan, is all of this true or is anyone ever <laughs> Can you confirm? <laughs> I mean, uh, we, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, Comfort and I both have wanted to make this movie for, for several years. Uh, last year, we said, well, what if we just kind of start asking every person we trust uh, to help us um, and ask people they trust to help us? And that's how the film got made. Hmm. And do you remember how many days the shoot itself was? Uh, we shot over the course of uh, uh, three or four weeks. Got it. And now, Joel, you mentioned getting the permission slip signed by your wife to be able to extend your road trip. Were you on set for all those weeks or did you pull the the Nick Cage style? You got me for three days. That's all you got. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was Nick Cage all the time on the set. Um, I came a little bit late in the fact that Marcia DeBonis, who got me to be in the movie when I got there, had already finished shooting. So I, I didn't know anybody, but uh, I got there a little bit late to the party, but I, I tried to make up for it in the... Uh, you know, we we bonded uh, over things like the Women's World Cup at bars and stuff like that in our in our off time. And uh, but yeah, no, I didn't fully Nick Cage. I've never committed that much to anything. 
I recently uh, had the pleasure of interviewing Wes Cage, Nick's son, great musician in his own right. So the lineage continues of awesomeness in the Cage clan. So let that be on the record right there. But uh, Comfort, going over your credits here, I like that you can do drama, but you can also do comedy. You straddle between the two genres. Like sometimes you're the one comedic person in the dramatic production. When you started out, did you have a preference as to which direction you were going? Uh, for this film in particular? Um, well, I mean, no, in general with your career. Oh, with my thinking. career, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this one is a dramedy, it's both. Yeah. Um, for my career, I love that I get to do both. I think I originally came in to you know this industry thinking I would be more in the comedic lane, but I've been lucky enough to get a lot of roles that were a little more dramatic. And instead I sort of look to bring a little comedy to those dramatic roles, which is also what I tried to do here, I think. Right. So I'm looking, I think, now to lean more into comedy in the future, but I'm open to open to it all. And I love that I get to do both and got to do both for this film. And I think that's part of why I'm involved was a, another film I did a few years ago that had another dramedy style to it. And Caroline, that's where I met Caroline, the writer, and she came up to me after watching me film that scene. And she was like, this is exactly the tone of this Christmas movie I have. And it's hard to do a true dramedy where it's you know, the words are dramatic, but you're kind of like putting a little comedy into them. And she was like, you have nailed this tone and I have a character for you. Let me send you this script. And are you allowed to say which role, as I rudely interrupt you, which role that was that Caroline saw you in? Yeah, it's a film called Paint that she worked on. She was in set design and I was an actor in it. It was about four years, I don't know, five years ago, probably at this point. Um, and I played a character who was really very much straddled the line of dramatic and comedic at the same time. And that's, you know, I guess that's maybe that's my genre. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the old adage of good work leading to more work. In yeah. your case, Joel, uh, did this role lead to other roles? I'm assuming the answer is no, because who doesn't want to hire Joel Murray at this point? Oh, there's a Everyone long knows. line of people. Um, I, I, don't think enough people have seen this yet for it to have led to other work. But on yeah. December 19th, I'll be flying back from Madrid. But the rest of the people can be out there you know, ordering this up uh, so they can show it at their own home over the holidays. But uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to lead to more work. And uh, I said to my wife, you know, we, we started with uh, Ray at, uh, and Sawyer, you know, you're kind of guaranteed that uh, Spielberg might see this film <laughs> as far as your work goes, right? Uh, so that's that's a weird thing I don't think I've ever thought about before while I was doing a movie. Like, yeah, there's a chance he, he might actually watch this. So who knows? Maybe it'll lead to more work. Where, uh, uh, you know, work leads to work. And, yeah. uh, I, that's why I keep plugging away. Well, the... Uh... Last question, which is going to be modified for everyone, because I want everyone to give me their two cents and their self-promotion. Uh, Dan, are we allowed to know where we're going to see you next or what you're working on next? Or do we just have to wait for the Hollywood Reporter embargo to be lifted or the Instagram post of you doing hashtag blessed or something like that? <laughs> hashtag blessed. <laughs> uh, there's there's a handful of projects I'm, I'm trying to get off the ground and... Um, Right now, I'm kind of living in commercial land and headed into the holidays to uh, spend some time with my family. So in other words, with commercial land, we're seeing your work. We just don't know it's Dan Kennedy's work. Yeah. There you go. So so a hardworking gentleman right there. Comfort, are we allowed to know where we're going to see you next? Um, nothing specific coming up other than Mary Good Enough on December 19th. But hopefully working again with this incredible, talented group of people. It's been, you know, the strike was going on. So it's a little bit of a lull at the moment, but everything's picking up with auditions and hopefully uh, be back at it soon. Cool. And modified last question for Joel, because the Murrays have fantastic taste in music and sports. Mm -hmm. So what was the last concert and or sporting event that you were at? Oh, wow. Uh... Well, the last concert uh, geez, would have been at uh, the Canal Shores in uh, Evanston, Illinois. And uh, we saw, was it Lucinda Williams? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, but that's not right. Um, I'm thinking we saw Lucius. 
Oh. And uh, they opened up for Dawes. That was it. Lucius opened up for Dawes. That was the last concert I saw. And the last sporting event, I would, uh, I, I'm guessing, was the Chicago Cubs uh, during baseball season. So That's on brand. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it was either going to be a major PGA tournament or a Cubs game. Well, I did see the uh, one day of the U.S. Open at the uh, L.A. Country Club, so that would that would be about the same time. But uh, the fact that you saw Dawes, Taylor Goldsmith, and and Lucius, so, those they, are they sisters or twins? I think they're just friends. I don't think they're related. They're just cosplaying they're, as each other. Okay, got it. Well, harmonize everything they sing. Yeah, amazing. The key is you've got the fine taste. I thought you did so. Thank you all for your time. Congratulations on this new, what I think is going to be a perennial favorite that this time of year you have to do press because it's so popular and you have to do more junkets about it, answering the same questions. So uh, sorry in advance about that, but thank you all. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks so much. Outro cast.